Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Before I get into this, before I get into this video, make sure to subscribe, like, and turn on post notifications. This is the Walking Dead season five recap. If you go to enjoy, make sure to subscribe, like, and turn on post notifications. That's the second time I've said it in this like 18 second runtime so far. But yeah, we're recapping season five of um, the Walking Dead. I watched season five because it was really good, and I watched so many episodes of it. I've already finished the first episode of season six. Yeah. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, anyway. So, remember, we left off in the finale of Season 4. Many paths collide in each group's travels. Rick remembers the path and faces sheer brutality, and the group struggles to survive because at Terminus, it's a bunch of cannibals, and they're going to probably die because they're locked in this train car. They're going to get thought out to be eaten by the Terminans at Terminus. But... Fast forward to none other than the season known as season five, uh, which is a great season with a lot of important things. Um, but there's the, the, yeah. Anyway, season five, episode one, No Sanctuary. The true motives of the Terminans come to light when Rick and the others end up in a vulnerable situation, where pretty much they're like, we're animals, we're on. Tyrese and Carol are together, remember? Because, uh, you know, uh, uh, Lizzie and Mika, you know, the sisters. I'm, I know Mika's one of the sisters. I'm not sure if Lizzie's the name, but I'm pretty sure it is. Lizzie thinks, like, the like, like the walkers are friends. She's not scared of them. Okay, like, uh, for instance, Lizzie. Or, no, Mika is scared of them, but knows that they're not friends. And Lizzie is not scared of them, but thinks they're friends. So then Lizzie's like, I'm going to kill my sister, because then I can be friends with her when she's dead. And so then Carol has to kill Lizzie, which I don't think she really had to do, but okay. So, yeah, they t them two are dead, so then Tyrese and Carol and Judith... I will. They're out of there. And then, you know, they go to frickin' Terminus, and Carol has the sniper and the fire rocket. Oh, excuse me, sorry. And, like, a July 4th thing. Excuse me. A, um, a, a firework. Puts it in the gun. It's a sniper. Hits a propane tank, which is, like, gas, and blows the whole place up. And, uh, the whole group survives and gets out, except, you know, the Terminans, and the whole place blows up, and zombies are everywhere. So there's pretty much that. Season 5, Episode 2, Strangers. Rick leads a risky mission for a possible small reward when the supplies run low and the group's mistrust of people grows. Season 5, Episode 3, Four Walls and a Roof. Rick and the others find themselves pitted against a nasty group, but, but may have a plan to gain the upper hand. The Terminans, several of them came out and survived, and they have Bob, but the, they're eating Bob's leg because they're cannibals, but he got bit there, and we didn't know that, but now they're going to probably die because they ate an effect of the leg. And then there's this guy named Gabriel, which I think is going to summon a born character. He hasn't died so far. Uh, so Gabriel, yeah. And Gabriel's pretty much vibing. He's a priest, except a uh, father priest. But except he left his whole congregation to die. So, eee! Move on to season five. Uh, yeah, that was Four Walls and a Roof. Season five, episode four, Slab Town. Another group of survivors is introduced, and although things appear safe and nice, there's a bit of a dark side. With all due respect, Walking Dead, this episode was absolute garbage. This is a bad episode. It wasn't good. If you want to watch The Walking Dead, but watch only a few good episodes, this one, not one to watch. So yeah, pretty much back to that is hospital because she got kidnapped, or she's not dead. And there's like this new group of survivors, but there's a bit of a dark side because like... They're at this hospital in Atlanta, I remember from season one, back in like the first like two or three episodes, um, in Atlanta. It's kind of scoffed in my opinion. So yeah, Beth is there in the hospital, but there's this one dude that gives off a bit of a rapey vibe, and a lot of the male police officers are just kind of, eh, so that's pretty much the dark side. And they're trying to find Beth, the group. That's pretty much what, I feel like this season mostly is focused on f two things, finding Beth. And finding a new place to live. But you gotta make sure to trust people because last time they tried to find Terminus and it didn't work out too well. So, yeah. I feel like that's the two main things. Finding Beth and finding a new place to live. Which they do find Beth, but it doesn't end well. Let's see. Season 5, Episode 5, Self-Help. The group must contend with a new set of issues while out on the mission and must push them to survive. Yeah, Eugene isn't a scientist. He just is pretty much was like, I'm a wuss. Uh, and I wanted to be with you guys, and I knew if I said that I was a scientist, you guys would, you know, let me live, and keep me as a priority so I could clear the world. But he's not a scientist, he just a lousy little wuss. But in the end, I come to like Eugene, he's a good guy. Um, so yeah, he's not a scientist, and, uh, Abraham, and, and uh, Abraham is P.O. 
Season 5, Episode 6, Consumed. Stakes are high when members of the group must go on a heroic rescue mission in a previously known location, which is Atlanta. Anyway, it's pretty crazy. Pretty much, they, Carol and Daryl go on a mission to see Beth. But Carol gets hit by a car and goes to the hospital, too. So Daryl and the laundry boy, remember the guy Noah? He's back now from Episode 4 of Slaptown. And, yeah, so basically, Noah and Daryl are kind of going to go back to the normal group, to the whole group, so that they can, like, decide how they're going to how they're gonna go rescue Beth and Carol. Season 5, Episode 7, Crossed. The group is spread thin with some members holding down the church and the others on a rescue mission. So, yeah, that is church surviving, so I guess they found a sanctuary, but not really. It's a, it's a church. Not too great, not too great of, a, of a living state. Um, and, yeah. So the loop is spread with thin with some members holding down the church and others out on a rescue mission, which is pretty much the episode right there. There's some officers that get killed from the hospital because they're not complying. A lot of mixed things in this episode. Season 5, Episode 8, Coda. New enemies disregard rules and morals, and although Rick wants to find a peaceful agreement, the enemies seem to prefer a more violent resolution, which is pretty much at the hospital. You know, Beth and Carol are there, okay? And then the group has two of their officers. Two and two. They give back Beth and Carol, and then the group gives back their two officers. But they don't want to do that. No, they want to use violence, as I just said. Season 5, Episode 9. What happened and what's going on? After facing all of the recent trials, a slight detour may offer the, re the solution that the group has been seeking. So yeah, that's pretty much what's happening. This one, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and yeah, so they're, they're facing all of the recent trials and a slight detour may offer the solution that the group has been seeking. So yeah, this actually is really good for the group because that is bond during the storm. And ladies and gentlemen, this episode has one of the best lines ever. Rick is like, something like this. We're struggling, we're struggling, not doing great, but we are the walking dead. Which there it is, I think maybe episode 10 or 9, but sometime around episode 9 of season 5 or episode 10 of season 5, that's the, that's the show. Not, the walking dead is not the walking dead, like uh, the zombies. It's more or less the people and the sheer brutality of life that they are the walking dead. Crazy, I know, right? It's the show name in that we're, what works said. Now this... Episode 10 to the end is kind of like, I feel like, gearing towards a great thing to come, which it does. Season 5, Episode 10, Them. The group feels beaten after living life on the road, but must but must continue to trudge along in spite of the changes they have incurred. So there's this dude named Aaron, which is this guy who says there's a sanctuary called Alexandria, which is the gated community, which is pretty much like where old people live. It's a gated community with many houses in it. And they're like, should we trust this? After two minutes, we can't do this. But they decided to go through with it, and that leads into the 11th episode of this wonderful season. We got season 5, episode 11, The Distance. After withstanding a spectacular storm, Rook and the others meet with, meet with what appears to be a friendly person, but find themselves mistrustful. They arrive in Alexandria, which is this great community where there's this Diane person, and oh, Diana, she's like the leader. There's all these people, but there is a bit of a dark side, but it's still great because they're in this fortress that zombies walkers cannot come into and that's great but there is there something bad that goes on of course it's the walking legit dead of course when everything's going great they're they're in they're in houses they're taking showers something has to go wrong and really for the next few episodes it's more or less settling in a life in alexandria and it's somewhat chill but not for long Season 5, Episode 12, Remember. The group has a difficult time molding to a new lifestyle, forcing them to consider whether they can be the people they once were. Because pretty much, the people in Alexandria, excuse my language, are pretty are wusses a little bit. Because they don't know, they haven't been on the outside of the walls. They're inside the walls, you know, and it's, it's not a good thing because they don't know how to defend themselves. So Rick is like, we gotta, you know, we, Rick is like, we gotta, like, defend. We gotta help these people out. But they're wusses, so what are we gonna do? And I can't really, I can't really do anything, or then, you know, stuff will go down, and I'll be in trouble, which he does get in trouble. No more so. name for me, and you're out of here. Yeah, my parents are in here, guys. I'm just, I'm, I'm, almost, I'm almost done with this. Season 5, episode 13, Forget. As Rick and the others continue to acclimate to their new surroundings, they consider a return to normalcy. But that doesn't really go well, because some people are going crazy and don't want them, because Gabriel, the priest, is a bad person, and is like telling Diana, the leader, like, they do these bad things, they kill people, which they did, but for a good cause. 
May I mention, this has nothing to do with anything I'm saying, but Sasha, I hate Sasha. She's a garbage character, meaning she's a good actor because I hate her so much. I don't care if she died. Honestly, I kind of want her to, which is sad. Season 5, episode 14, Spend. While trying to secure a new home, Rick and his group face challenges and question the utopia they find themselves in. Noah dies in this episode, ladies and gentlemen. He was introduced as 10 episodes earlier in Season 5, Episode 4, Slab Town. In Slab Town. But now, ladies and gentlemen, he is dead. And you want to know why he's dead, you may be asking yourselves. Well, because guess what? There's this garbage person, Alexandria, where Rick, Noah, and this dude are like, trying to escape from a horde of walkers. But the, 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 but the dude from Alexandria is the worst. Like, betrays him and then dies. So basically, yeah. But then Eugene comes to rescue, so Eugene, the jerk, I don't know his name, and Glenn head back to Alexandria, and this is where Rick goes crazy, because they last one of their own, and the people of Alexandria are dumb, and this leads into the last two episodes of a great season, gearing towards a new season, which is season six. Season five, episode 15, Try. When life within the walls begin to mimic like... Sorry. Okay. We have season five, episode fifteen. Try when life within the walls begins to mimic life outside. The group realizes that sheltered life may not be possible, which is true because Rick is going crazy. But to be honest, really, all the all the characters in the series you can't really blame. Even the characters you hate, like Andrea, who's like I'm gonna go out and better than everyone else. Yeah, it's not a zombie apocalypse. It's hard life. I mean, if you think about it. But it's still a show, so you're saying some of the characters are dumb, which is totally fine. I mean, <laughs> so yeah. When life is in the wall, so basically, there's this guy named Pete. He's abusing his wife, and his son is going to want to kill him. So then Rick is like, okay, I'm going to do something about it. He almost kills the guy by beating him up, but Diana's now going to hold a meeting to see if they should kick Rick out or not, which is crazy. We have the finale, season 5, episode 16, Conquer. Daryl finds trouble while on a run, and... Rick and the group feel like outsiders in Alexandria, where trouble approaches the gate. So pretty much, ladies and actual gentlemen, this is crazy. There is a horde of walkers. Or, well, that's in season six. Oopsies. Never mind. So there's, well, this just doesn't have a lot to do with anything, but there's these people walkers that have W's engraved on their heads. The wolves, which is a group of bad people outside of Alexandria. And, yeah, that's a little side note because it doesn't have a lot to do with our recap for season six. Just saying. So, yeah, the Daryl's fighting trouble while on a run. Uh, nothing really good there. But this is the real sentence. Or, yes, yeah, sentence you gotta listen to. Look at the group feel like outsiders in Alexandria where trouble approaches the gate. Which, not really, but pretty much he found Gabriel so the dude with the gate Gabriel came back he, he, he leaves and he's like going on a walk he's like I'm going to commit suicide bro. I don't even want to live in this life come and get me and he's like oh I can't really do this now I'm a priest I gotta not kill myself so then he kills the walker comes back and the dude is like standing on watch at the go at the gate he's like yo Gabriel please close the gate and he's like alright I'm what shuts the gate walks away but he doesn't look really shut. Just goes boom, and then it slides back open. Like three or four walkers come in. Rick finds them, kills them. They're at the meeting. He comes into the meeting where the whole group is probably gonna kick Rick out. Throws them down and is like, "Yes, guess what? There's walkers. You have no idea what you're doing. I should leave this place." And then Pete, the guy who's abusing his wife, is like, "Oh, bro, I'm not gonna let this happen." Nah, takes like a, a freaking katana. Uh, maybe it may be Michelle's actually. No, it can't be. No. And then he's like, "Well, I'm gonna kill you, right?" But then my ass and kills Diana's husband, Reg or Reg, however it's his, his name is dumb. Ah, uh, because he's gonna kill him. But then he's like, Diana's husband is like, "No, don't do it, man." And he's like, "I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it." Oh no, I killed you. He falls to the ground, and then Rick is like. Homeboy, I'm not gonna let you live. And and he's like, looks at Diana. Diana. Diana looks back and she's like. So then the is like, oh, I don't know what you say, so I mean, so then kills that guy, Pete, and ladies and gentlemen, Morgan, oh, so Morgan, my boy, Morgan, uh, so a little recap here, uh, the premiere of the show, season one, episode one, Morgan and Dwayne, uh, pretty much take Rick into their home because, you know, he escapes from the hospital. Uh, Dwayne's dad, by the way. So fast forward to season three, like, I think, like, season three, episode eight or something. Somewhere around the mid, uh, mid middle of season three. Um, Michelle and, um, 
uh, I think Rick go on like a run, and they run into um, uh, uh, Morgan again two, two seasons later, like vibing in his fortress. He's got a little crazy. Dwayne is dead at this point, so he dies sometime in uh, late um, episode two or later of season one, sometime in season two or episode like one to seven in season three or whatever. You know, they get introduced. Uh, where well, Morgan comes back before then. So, yeah, pretty much there's that. But Morgan's like, I'm staying here. So, they, they leave Morgan. But then but then in the first episode of season five, I didn't say this because I was holding it for the end. In the, in the premiere of season five, he's like walking like. He's like walking. And he's somewhat by where they are. But I think he's probably at, like, at least like I would say probably 50 miles away. And then, so yeah. Fast forward now. Daryl. And Aaron find him. He's like, I know where Grimes. Do you know? Yeah, I do know. Okay, let's go. So then they all go and they see Rick. And Morgan's like, Hey, Rick. And he's like, Hey, Morgan. And, but then there's also a thing. Well, you know that jerk from before who pretty much killed Noah in like third degree or second degree or something? I don't know the exact uh, ratio. Uh, so he basically is trying to kill Glenn because, you know, he, cause Glenn left slip that, you know, he did something, you know, it's not good. Uh, he pretty much kills Glenn. Uh, Glenn was, almost gets killed by walkers. My mom was watching with me. She was um, terrified, so to say. Wasn't that right, Ma? Very upsetting. Indeed. He didn't die. Pretty good. We thought Rick would die for a moment when the walkers came in Alexandria, but of course he didn't, didn't die. Um, but I feel like The Walking Dead is a kind of show to kill off the main character probably in like season 9 or 10. Oh, if you're wondering if you've already seen um, the later seasons and are watching this for some reason, um, season um, 10 has 6 more episodes, so it'll end up having 23 episodes instead of 16. Um, season 10, episode 17, will, will be returning to AMC, I believe, or on Netflix or something, February 28th, 2021. So the last day of February, so just about another two a month to wait. Uh, so yeah, basically, Glenn's about to kill this guy, but he doesn't because he's nice, and they all go back to Alexandria. So pretty much more than that, Alexandria, Diana's going to let Rick be like her vice president of Alexandria, and that pretty much wraps it up. Pete is dead, and a lot of things are happening. But then there's this horde of... Um, hundreds and thousands, or maybe not hundreds and thousands, but yeah, probably, about a hundred thousand walkers in this, like, in this, like, ravine. A hundred thousand near Alexandria, and they have to drive them out. But will they drive them out? Will the a hundred thousand go to Alexandria? I guess we'll have to wait probably a few weeks and to find out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was The Walking Dead Season 5 Recap. If you want to enjoy, make sure to subscribe, like, and of course, you guys, you gotta hit the, you gotta hit, you gotta hit the notification bell. There it is. Um, so, if, I'm sorry, I, I went through that pretty fast because I do want to get out of here. It is 8.22 p.m. as I'm recording this. I do not want to record videos too late. So, yes, if I miss anything, I'm sorry. So, every single thing I miss in that recap, I'm really sorry. But, yeah, that was the Season 5 Recap for The Walking Dead. Subscribe, like, and turn on post notifications. And ladies and gentlemen, let's take a break from the gore, the guts, and the treachery and bloodshed. Uh, and take a little look at um, this dude. Oh, you can't even see because it's not a, there's not enough light. Well, Bonnie's in there. Bonnie's my boy. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. So every single thing I missed, I'm sorry. So everything I missed, sorry. Subscribe, like, turn on post notifications. I've said this ten times. Season 5 recap for The Walking Dead. Uh, I know this is like really long or it's longer than my other ones, but I was just kind of procrastinating now. Um, yeah. I am. Yeah? Now. Sorry, yes. Alright guys, that was it. Uh, see you in the season 6 recap in a few weeks. I mean, I'll see you for a new video soon, but in like a day. But, oh, no one cares. Love you guys. Peace. <coughs> I can't stop it, bro. Turn the computer off. I'm trying. It's not stopping, bro. Alright, peace.